Good afternoon. Welcome back to another article marketing robot instructional video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an article and what all the features of the article editor are. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is hit the add button. Now, as you first enter the article editing screen, you'll notice that there's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to go over is these uh, five main sections, title, summary, body, resource, and keywords. These are all items that are required in a typical article that you'd be submitting. Uh, some article directories don't have a summary box and some article directories don't use keywords, but most article directories use title, body, and resource. So those are the main areas of your article. The next thing you will want to look at is the categories. Um, here you can type in variations of the categories that you want your article to be placed under. Instead of providing a drop down form um, with a bunch of different categories in it, I decided to let you type in the category or you can type in a partial category. For example, if you are targeting marketing for example you can just use the word market and article marketing robot will go out and look for any categories that have the word market in them and the first one it comes across it will use that category so if there's article marketing as a category the word market fits in marketing so it will use it you'll notice that you have six categories and if none of the categories that you've typed in show up then article marketing robot will ra select a random category and it will go about that way so the next thing I'm going to talk about are the buttons down here on the right hand pane of this article editor but before I do that I'm just going to enter some text into the body so in this article I will speak about article marketing and how it can drive traffic to your website. Pretty straightforward but uh, we'll be able to expand on it later. So the first thing down here we have the plus and minus sign. Plus is going to increase and de decrease the font size of your of the title, summary, body and resource. The minus will decrease the size. Um, over here you have an undo button so if I click it you'll see that the text disappears and if I this one here is a redo button if I click that then you'll see that all my text comes back except for the last word okay <clears throat> over here we have a plus syntax and what that means is you can uh, insert a spin syntax if you want so if you wanted to say traffic to your website and you can enter dogs that bark loudly and that just shows should, is an example of you being able to insert spin syntax and if you don't like it you just simply hit the undo button oops and you're done preview will actually preview your article so as my web browser loads you can see a quick article preview it's got a body word count and if you have a bunch of spin syntax in your article then every time you hit the preview button a newly spun version of that article will be spit out the OK button will save the article uh, and leave the article editor and go back to the main screen cancel will not save the article and it will go back to the main screen so I'll just show you something if you if you hit OK you'll see here that there's just a two there that's uh, the article ID if I go back in and just put something in the title and then hit OK then it'll show up as the title down here before I go any further I'll just show you the copy button what this does is it creates a identical copy of the article so let's say you have a freshly written article and you want to submit one article that is unspun to high page rank websites like easing articles and the rest to uh, lower page rank websites like the spun version then you just hit the copy button and a new one is created this is also useful if you want to have a template for example you 
targeting one niche and you you don't want to always have to enter your categories and keywords you can just have a uh, a, a template set up and then you can just copy from there one last thing I want to comment on is the colored text checkbox here if I type a sentence I'm gonna type the word sentence and then I just highlight that and insert some, some spin syntax and say another sentence and then hit my colored text what will happen is I get uh, well I get different colored text uh, text that is not within spin syntax is black and text that is out inside spin syntax is a different color so as you can see the more I go into it the more colors I get so I'll just undo all that and then we'll get into the meat and potatoes of the thesaurus okay so the thesaurus um, <clears throat> separated into several different things first off there is a contextual thesaurus and there is a local thesaurus you can gain access to these in the options menu over here you see thesaurus there's contextual which is slower that is because article marketing robot has to go out to the internet to find the words that are to find the synonyms and their definitions and group them and the local thesaurus is a file that resides on your hard drive when you install the article marketing robot and it's about a 60 meg file with uh, just over 30,000 words in it the words in the local file are not sorted by definition so we'll just get out of there I'm going to double click the word article so we went out we retrieved the, th the thesaurus data and you can see that there's three different meanings for the word article there's item and object uh, piece of writing or section of document now in this article we're referring to a piece of writing so if I say in this piece of writing blurb column commentary editorial uh, paper story you see all those words get automatically replaced as I double click them and you'll also notice down here we have something called synonym groups synonym groups are previously used uh, synonyms that are stored as groups so the next time you come across the word article which would be here all you have to do is double click it and then hit replace so now your art your words are stored and it makes spinning an article extremely quickly but that's not the only thing I want to show you I'm going to undo that so back up to the definition context box down here we have the local thesaurus definition for article and as you can see there's a lot of different words and they're just not sorted by definition but you could find some words that are decent and would fit into your context that you're trying to use also we have related words and as you can see these words are not directly related to article but they are either an antonym or a synonym that have something to do with the word article for example if I click on the word detail you'll see that article comes up that means it's related but it's not a real it's it's either an antonym or a synonym but it's not a direct synonym so that is how the definition contextual thesaurus works and the local thesaurus works now before I continue uh, to explain what this synonym groups section is all about I just want to expand some of the text in the article body so I will say article marketing works in several different ways and if you use article marketing you will develop some product recognition for your website so I just kinda like to babble in my articles I guess but I'm making a point here I'm going to highlight the two words article marketing and I'm gonna hit the source now you can't expect any results to come from that but what you can do is you can insert words 
into your thesaurus, into your local dictionary. For example, article submitting. And you can see as soon as you hit enter, the spin syntax is expanded and it's and it's added. And then you can say article submission, which is almost the same thing, or maybe article writing. Now, what I want to show you next is the synonym groups um, and mass replacer. Down here we have a couple things going on. There's an E and an X. The E will allow you to edit the synonym group and the X will delete it outright. I'm not going to hit that because I don't want to delete my synonym group, but I will use the E. Now what's happening here is you can edit your synonym group and up here, this little part here, this shows what the group currently looks like. Down here, you can either add or remove or update a word. So let's just say I'll add article jollies, for example. Hit enter, and there it is, article jollies. Now I can remove it, and it's gone. And if I were to add I, 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 oops, sorry, I got to hit the add button first. I, 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 and then I wanted to change it to be KKKK and update it, you'll see that it changes. So that's just that's just uh, how you edit your synonyms. We'll hit done and we're back on the main editing screen. Okay, I'm going to show you something called the mass replacer. What this does is it goes out and finds all the words in the body, summary, title, and resource box that are already in a synonym group. So I'll just go over a couple options down here. First we have the width. Uh, the width refers to phrases basically. What the mass replacer will do is it will look for any any phrase that is in this case two words wide. If you were to set it up for let's say five words it will look for a phrase that is one, two, three, four, five words wide all the way throughout the article body and then once it's done looking for five words it will look for four words and then it will go look for three words and then two words until it gets down to one word. Uh, search inside spin syntax means that the article uh, editor will search within spin syntax if that's checked off. Uh, typically you don't need to do that because you've already got your spin syntax set up but if you want to you can. Normally I leave that unchecked and so it will only search the body and the rest of the boxes for words that are not inside the spin syntax. So I'm just going to hit my mass replacer button here. And as you can see it's flashing through the article. Now as you remember we created a synonym group with the words article marketing in it. As you can see there's article marketing there. So if I just hit the replace button you'll see that it gets automatically replaced and then it continues on to find the next word or the next, uh, in this case, uh, phrase, and it finds it again, so I'll just hit the replace button. Now, it's, now that it's done searching for two word phrases, it's down to one word phrases. So, now I can say, in this article, I will speak, and I'll just replace that, and it's going again, and there's another synonym group for can, so I'll replace that, and it's done. Very fast and very effective way to spin your articles. You don't have to put a whole lot, a lot of effort into it. Basically what you're doing is you're training the software to adapt to your synonyms, the synonyms that you like to have. And the more articles that you write using uh, the thesaurus, the faster it becomes to get your article spun out. Typically it takes me about 15 minutes to take a 500 word article and put all the spin syntax in it. And then I have a hundred unique articles that I can play with. So the last thing that you're going to want to do when you have a completed article is you're going to want to spin it out. Um, first thing you can do is you can preview it and you'll see that in this paper I will convey at article submission and how it can drive traffic to your website. And then maybe you want to preview it again you can say in this blurb I will communicate at article submitting and how it can drive traffic to your website preview it again in this editorial so you can see that lots of different variations are coming out and it, it works quite effectively. The next thing you can do is you can spin out the articles 
I, I don't have much content in this article, obviously, so I'm just going to spin it like five times. Uh, I'll hit OK, and spinning is complete. I'll open the folder of articles, and let's bring it to screen here. And there they are. So you have all your different articles. Um, these, these, uh, this type of formatting is meant for article marketing robot. So every single article will have different text, and so on and so forth. So that pretty much concludes the article writing portion of the article marketing robot. This was a long video and I didn't get a lot of text written in the body. In the next video I'm going to have a completed article to submit to the directories so that you can see the real power, the real horsepower of this, uh, this software. So you can get a free trial of Article Marketing Robot at www.articlemarketingrobot.com. There is a five-day free trial, and the article editor is completely open to use, so I, I encourage you to give it a try, and I look forward to uh, seeing you in the next video.